student in this lesson on the perfect conditional tense we'll learn when to use this tense mr kumar lives in an old age home he's writing in his diary let's read his diary to find out how he is feeling to my beloved wife I still think about the day you left us. If I had known, I could have driven you to the market that day you met with an accident. If you had listened to me, you would not have taken the bus. If the children had been in Mauritius, they might have helped you with the shopping. I know that I cannot change the past. So, how is Mr. Kumar feeling? He is feeling sad and regretful. How do we know? He is imagining a different past with his wife. The verb form that Mr. Kumar is using is called the perfect conditional. When do we use the perfect conditional? Let's study this sentence from Mr. Kumar's diary. If I had known, I could have driven you to the market that day you met with an accident. Did Mr. Kumar drive his wife to the market that day? No, he did not. Can he go back in time and drive his wife? No, it is not possible. In this example, the perfect conditional is used to refer to an event that did not happen in the past. Mr. Kumar is imagining a different or an unreal past. He is imagining the result of something that did not happen. He could have driven his wife, but he did not. Thus, it is impossible to go back in the past to change the event. Now, let's see other examples from Mr. Kumar's diary of when the perfect conditional has been used. If you had listened to me, you would not have taken the bus. In this sentence, you have the condition, if you had listened to me, and a possible result of that condition, you would not have taken the bus. If only Mrs. Kumar had listened to her husband, the result of the situation would have been different. That is, she would not have taken the bus and she would not have had an accident. Again, it is impossible to change that past event. Another example. If the children had been in Mauritius, they might have helped you with the shopping. Similarly, for this second sentence, if the children had been in Mauritius represents the condition, while they might have helped you with the shopping represents the possible result of that condition. In this sentence, Again, it is impossible to change the situation. 
as the children were not in Mauritius at the time when the event happened. So, Mr. Kumar is still imagining a different past. Note, therefore, that the perfect conditional is used to refer to situations in the past that we cannot change. Let's look at this same example over again. In this sentence, the unreal condition, which is found in the part of the sentence starting with if, is at the beginning of the full sentence. Do you think this condition should appear only at the beginning of the sentence? Yes, the if part of the sentence that contains the unreal condition can be used at the end of the sentence as well. And the imagined result part of the sentence, the children might have helped you with the shopping, can be placed at the beginning. However, note that when if is at the beginning, we use a comma. So, the part of the sentence starting with if can be at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. So, now we know that the perfect conditional is used to Imagine a different past, a past that is impossible to change. We also know that there is always an unreal condition denoted by the word if and an imagined result. We have also seen that the part of the sentence starting with if can be at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. In part 2 on the perfect conditional, we will look at how this tense is formed. You can see this lesson over again on the SSB website. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.